made seven bucks in my pocket. And I always tell that story. So now my production company is seven bucks, advertising agency is seven bucks, everything is seven bucks. So I always remember that. What helps me is to keep the hard times in the front of my mind. This allows me to go into these big moments that I've worked my ass off, and you guys have worked your ass off. It allows me to go into these big moments with a different perspective. One of the consistent questions that you guys have been asking is, what is it that I do to power myself through um, me being tired and fatigued and sometimes train like I just train now uh, late at night? Like so many of you guys out there, you know, we are busy, we are on this treadmill of life that there's no stop button um, unless we're walking in the clouds. But other than that, we are going and going and going. We're fatigued, we're tired, we have babies. Uh, we have bills to pay, we have school to go to, we have jobs to uh, go to, we have relationships, we have a lot of the stuff that just makes us tired throughout the day. And believe me, it happens because I'm putting on my workout stuff and tying my shoes and I'm like, shit, I should just call it a night. Well, no one's ever going to know, everyone's asleep, and maybe I'll just pick it up tomorrow. But I usually tell myself, number one, I say, well, I'll try and remember what it was like, um, you know, when I didn't have much at all, those seven bucks days. Um, I try to remember that and... Usually that gets my ass in gear. Um, when I think back to the days of having seven bucks and what it took to get to, in the position that I'm at now, so usually that motivates me. And if that doesn't motivate me, I'll ask myself, I'll say, uh, how bad of a motherfucker do you think you are? <laughs> like, how bad do you really think you are? Shattering, Shattering expectations, expectations, unlocking potential, potential, succeeding in ways no one thought was possible. You think you're a bad motherfucker? No. Yeah, and prove it. No one's, no one's watching. Everyone's asleep. No one will ever know. Uh, usually by then, I'm like, okay. <laughs> and I'm telling myself, fuck you, I'm ready to go. Uh, all right, so that is my answer. Great feeling to get in the gym in the morning, set a goal, and leave the gym knowing you accomplished it. And at the end of the day, it's never too early or too late to get after your goals. And once you start that first step and you take that action, that's going to be what creates the momentum. And once you get that momentum going, then you're off to the races. Just putting in work. Big dogs eat. Little crying puppies stay on the porch. This is what we call therapy. Iron therapy. It's also what we call, uh, what's that term? Uh, oh, fucking crazy.